So, um, can you talk a little bit more about Age of Resistance and how that expands the world from the original film to the new series? Mm -hmm. um, well, Age of Resistance is a prequel, so we kind of our jumping off point was the scene in the movie where Jen and Kira they go to the ruins and Kira sits down on the throne, and you feel like this was a beautiful lost civilization. We set our show in that kind of rich period where. The, the world of Thra is actually thriving, and the Gelfling are thriving. There are seven clans that we um, we had a lot of fun with the Frouds and you know with our team, sort of creating this this world where seven different groups of Gelflings live in different geographical areas, and therefore we kind of continued the world building and, and, and built it out even more than what was already in the film. We've been working on the the prequel storyline in its very basics level for, for years. And we actually had been developing an animated series um, that never got made. But now it feels like it all happened for a reason because the series is actually much more ambitious than the movie was. And you know we're putting 10 hours out there for fans. So I think sometimes you don't really know which way is the right path. And you know we can't, we can't uh, dictate it all, but we kind of do our best. So let's say that Lisa is watching this video right now. What would you say? There's a memory attached to it. It's a okay. childhood thing okay. for me. Mm -hmm. um, I remember watching it as a kid, like on tape. Thanks for keeping the legend alive and everything going. And just, you know, even though, uh, you know, people are gone that created it originally and stuff, I mean, it, it lives on for sure. And hopefully it's going to live on for generations and generations. And I'm glad that I can be a part of it.